We continue now at the top of Daf Kuf Yoram and Beis Maseches Ksubis. This is Ksubis Daf 110b. The Mishnah continues: Av lo meir lekrach v'lo mikrach leir. A husband cannot force his wife to move from a town to a larger city or from a larger city to a town, and that's even within the same province. And the Mishnah continues: Motzi and minave hara lenave hayafa. A person is allowed to force his wife to go from a bad neighborhood to a good neighborhood. Av lo minave hayafa lenave hara, but not from a good neighborhood to a bad neighborhood. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Lomer, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, Af lo mi nove no, a person can't force her to go from a bad neighborhood to a good one, mivnei shahai nove hayafe bodik, because even the good neighborhood, it is bodik, what that means is it tests the body, that can also damage the health to, to change, even if it's from a bad neighborhood to a good one. Rashi over here says, Avalomeir Lakrach Begamar Mefarish Time, and the Gemara will explain what the problem is of going from a town to a larger city. Shanova Hayafa Bodek, the nicer neighborhoods could test the person's body. Bodek as a gof, Lamisha Ba, Minova Rom, Mitochach, Loim Boim Olaf. If a person is used to a certain kind of neighborhood and moves to a different kind of neighborhood, that also can cause the person to develop illness. And the Gemara says, Bishlama Mikrach Loir. I understand why you can't force. A husband can't force his wife to go from a large city to a town. Because in a large city you can find anything. But in a town you can't find everything. But why is it that from a town to a large city, why can't you force? Isn't a krach better? And the Gemara says, Messiah Leila Rabbi Yossi Bar Chanina. Our Mishnah supports what Rabbi Yossi Bar Chanina said. The Yom Rabbi Yossi Bar Chanina, because Rabbi Yossi Bar Chanina says, Minayin she yeshivas krochem kosha. From where do we know that it's difficult to live in the large cities? Shenemar, like the Pasuk says, Vayevarach huam lecholo anoshem and misnadvim lasheves birushalayim. They had to bless all the people who were going to settle in Yerushalayim, meaning it was difficult to settle in the large cities. And Rashi over here says, Yeshivas Kiroch and Koshel, settling in the large cities is difficult. Shakol Messiashvin Sham, because that's where everybody lives. Vidochin, Makarvim, Habotim, Zula, Zuvi, Ain Sham Avir. Everything is close to each other. There's not a good amount of space outdoors. Avol Bayir, Yesh, Yesh, Gino, Supardesim, Smuchim, Labotim, Vavir, and Yafa. But if you're in the towns, so you have nice gardens, you have nice orchards near the houses, it's a nicer area. So therefore, it's not so simple to force someone to go from an ear to a krach. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Omer v'chulu, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, again, even to go from a bad neighborhood to a good neighborhood could be difficult. My bodeg, what does it mean that the area, the nice neighborhood can test the person's body? Kiddush Shmuel, it's like what Shmuel says. The Yomar Shmuel, because Shmuel says, Shino ves techilas chole mayayim. If a person changes their normal routine, that's the beginning of having stomach problems. And the Gemara continues, Kasa b'Sefer Ben Siro. It says in Sefer Ben Siro, Kol yimei oni roim. All the days of the poor person are bad. This is also a pasuk in Mishlei. And the Gemara asks on this pasuk, Vayika Shabbosas v'yamim tovim. But what about Shabbos and Yontiv? Aren't those good days for the poor? And again, the Gemara turns to Shmuel's statement. Kedush Shmuel. It's like what Shmuel said. The Yomar Shmuel, because Shmuel said, Shino ivest. If a person changes the routine of what they eat, Tchilas chole meyayim. That's the beginning of having intestinal illness. And the Gemara continues with another statement from Ben Sira. Ben Sira, Omer Ben Sira says, Af Lelos, even the nights of a poor person are bad. Bishval Gagam Gago, because his roof is lower than everybody else's roof. Uve Maroma Harim Karmo, and he has his vineyard up higher than everybody else's. And therefore, Mimitar Gagim Lagago, so all the runoff of the rain from other roofs gets onto his roof. Ume Afar Karmo Lakarmim, and all of the soil from his vineyard ends up being taken down to other vineyards, and therefore the poor, they end up having it bad even during the nighttime when these events occur, when the rain comes and when the soil is moved. And Rashi over here says, Shino Yvesta Filo Latova. The point of the Gemara is if there's a change in the routine of what someone eats, even if it's a change that would generally be good, it can still have a bad effect on the body. That's what Shmuel was saying. And Bimarom Harim Karmo, again, his vineyard's up high. Shein Biyad Omaman Liknos Bimakam Tov. He can't buy a vineyard in a good spot. Bakona Baro Shahar, so he has to buy it up on the top of a mountain. The Chol Zavolim Shumotzi Lo, no. All of the fertilizer that he's putting there ends up running down and fills other people's vineyards, and so therefore the placement of his vineyard is not beneficial. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah: A person can force all the members of his family to move to Eretz Yisrael, but he's not able to force the members of his family to leave Eretz Yisrael. Similarly, Hakol Malin Yerushalayim, he can force all the members of his family to move to Yerushalayim, V'yein Hakol Motziyim, but he can't force them to leave Yerushalayim. Echad Hanoshim, V'yechad Hanoshim, this is true by men and by women.
Nosa Isha Beret Yisrael, if a person marries a woman in Eretz Yisrael, Vegersha Beret Yisrael, and he divorces her in Eretz Yisrael. So no Saint La Mimos Eretz Yisrael, when he pays her the Ksuba, he has to give her from the coins of Eretz Yisrael. Nosa Isha Beret Yisrael, if he marries a woman in Eretz Yisrael, Vegersha Be Kaputkia, and he divorces her in Kaputkia, no Saint La Mimos Eretz Yisrael, again he has to give her from the coins, from the money of Eretz Yisrael. Nasa Isha be Kaputki, if he marries a woman in Kaputki, of Vigirsha be Eretz Yisrael, and he divorces her in Eretz Yisrael, again, no Saint Lami Mos Eretz Yisrael. He gives her the Ksuba from the money of Eretz Yisrael. But in this case, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Omer Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, no Saint Lami Mos Kaputki. In this case, he gives her from the money of Kaputki, again, in the case where he marries her in Kaputki and divorces her in Eretz Yisrael, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, you use the Mos Kaputki. Nasa Isha be Kaputki, of Gersha be Kaputki, if a person marries a woman in Kaputki and divorces her in Kaputki, no sin law, Mimo is Kaputki. Then he pays her from the money of Kaputki. And Rashi over here says, I call Malin as Kolbene Beso Adam Kofalalos Veleshevimo be Rushalayim. person can force all the members of his household to go up and live with him in Yerushalayim. Echad Hanashem Vyechad Hanashem. And it said, whether men or women, and it means to say, Afa Isha Kofes Balalalos Velader Shama. A wife can force her husband to go and live there. Vim Lav Yotzi Vitan Ksuba. And if he doesn't want to come, then when he divorces her, he has to give her the Ksuba. Kedigtani Be Brais Be Gamar Badia. This is what the Brais is going to say. If he doesn't come with her, then he has to divorce her and give her the Ksuba. Mos Kaputkia Rashi says Gedolos Vashoklos Yoser Mishal Eretz Yisrael. The money of Kaputkia was actually larger coins. It was worth more than the coins of Eretz Yisrael. And the Gemara says, Hakol Mal, and it says a person can force everybody from his household to go to Eretz Yisrael. Le'isuye Mai, who's that coming to include? Le'isuye Avodim, it's coming to include Avodim. It means over here, Evid Ivri. If you have a Jewish slave, you can force him as well. Well, Amman Datani Avodna Behadya. Now, according to the one who has in the Mishnah, our Mishnah doesn't have it, but according to those who have the text of the Mishnah that it already says Avodim, so Le'isuye Mai. So again, what's Hakol coming to include? And the Gemara says, Le'isuye Min Nova Hayafa Lenova Hara. What it means to say is, you can force the members of the household to go to Eretz Yisrael, even if you're going from a good neighborhood to a bad neighborhood. Ve'en Hakol Motzian, but it says you can't force them to leave Eretz Yisrael. Le'isuye Mai, what does that come to include? Le'isuye Eved Shebarach Mechutz Let's say you have a situation of an avid Kanani, and he flees and he goes from Chutz Laaretz to Eretz Yisrael. The Amrin on so we say to him, Zavne Hacha Vizil Mishum Yeshiva Eretz Yisrael. So now Zavid Kanani arrived in Eretz Yisrael, so you could sell him over here to somebody else, but you have to let him stay here in Eretz Yisrael because there's a mitzvah to settle in Eretz Yisrael. And the Gemara continues, Hakol Madlin Li Yerushalayim Le Mai. So what about the line in the Mishnah which said that everybody can be forced to move to Yerushalayim? Who does that include? And again, the Gemara says, Le Suye Minova Hayof Elinova Haro. What it means to say is to include even from a bad neighborhood, and you're going to a good na- to even from a good neighborhood rather, and you're forcing them to go to a bad neighborhood in Yerushalayim. Vein Hakol Motzian, but you can't force them to leave Yerushalayim. Le Suye Mai. What does that come to include? Le Suye Afilu Minova Haro Elinova Hayof. It means you can't even force them. And let's say you're going from a bad neighborhood in Yerushalayim to a good neighborhood outside of Yerushalayim. And the Gemara just comments, Va'idi de Tana Reisha Ein Motzian, since it already said in the beginning of the Mishnah by Eretz Yisrael, it said Ein Motzian, Tana Seifanami Ein Motzian, so we say Ein Motzian by Yerushalayim as well, even though that does not add a Chiddush, once we know Ein Motzian by one, we would know that by the other. And Rashi over here explains, Va'idi de Tana de Ilu Mishum Minove Harol Inove Hayafa, because if it's to tell you this Chiddush, that you can't force them to leave Yerushalayim even from a bad neighborhood to a good one, lo itzrich, that wouldn't be necessary anymore. Kevin Dash Minan de Malin Minove because once we already said that you're allowed to force them to come into Yerushalayim from a good neighborhood to a bad, call Shekane Dein Motzi, and certainly you're not going to take them out, even from a bad to a good. If you're already forcing them to come in, you're certainly not going to be able to take them out. And the Gemara continues, Tanu Rabbon on the rabbis taught, Hu Omer Lalos, Vi Omer Shalo Lalos. Let's say he says he wants to go to Eretz Yisrael. She says she does not. So Kofen Osal Lalos, then we can force her to go up to Eretz Yisrael. Vi Imlavin, if she doesn't want to, Teitzei below Ksuba. She can be divorced and she will not receive her Ksuba. He Omer Es Lalos, let's say she wants to go up to Eretz Yisrael. Vi Omer Shalo Lalos, and he doesn't want to go to Eretz Yisrael. Kofen Osal Lalos, then we can force him to go to Eretz Yisrael. Vi Imlavin, if he doesn't go, Yotzi Vita and Ksuba. Then he's got a divorce 
divorce her and give her the ksuba. He omeres lotzeis, who omeres shalom lotzeis, let's say she wants to leave Eretz Yisrael and he doesn't want to leave. Kofun osa shalom lotzeis, we force her not to leave. Vim lav, and if not, if she wants to leave anyway, teitzei below ksuba, she has to leave the marriage without receiving her ksuba. Who omer lot says he omer es shalo lot says let's say he says he wants to leave she says she doesn't want to leave kofen oso shalo lot says we force him not to leave vim lav but if he doesn't if he leaves anyway yod sivit and ksuba he has to divorce her and give her her ksuba. And the Gemara continues at the two dots, Nasa Isha Vachulu, if he marries a wife, etc. And the Gemara says, Hagufa Kasha, the Mishnah is internally contradictory. Katani, because it says in the Mishnah, Nasa Isha Beretz Yisrael, it says, if he marries a wife in Eretz Yisrael, Vigirsha Bekaputkia, and he divorces her in Kaputkia, Nasa in law, Mimos Eretz Yisrael. So he's got to give her the Ksuba from the coins of Eretz Yisrael, because he married her in Eretz Yisrael. Alma Basar Shibuda Azlin, you see, we follow what the original Shibud is. What's the original Chiv? The original Chiv comes at the time of the marriage. You follow the time of the marriage when they were in Eretz Yisrael. But Ema Seva, but now look at the end of the Mishnah, look at the next line. He marries a wife in Kaputkia, and he divorces her in Eretz Yisrael. He gives her again from the coins of Eretz Yisrael, but over here the Sheba was in Kaputkia. And you see from here, you go by the time of the collection. And so the Gemara says, Zama Rabba Rabba says, Mikule Ksuba Shanukan. What's really going on over here is the leniencies that are related to the Ksuba, Kasavar Ksuba de Rabbonan, because our Mishnah happens to hold that Ksuba is Mid Rabbonan. And Rashi over here says, Lalos to go up, Mechutzalar, it's Laris, a person wants to go up from Chutzlar to Eretz Yisrael. And Rashi says, Vechain Mishar Gavul in Yerushalayim, the same would be true, let's say they want to go up from outside of Yerushalayim to Yerushalayim. Lot says, Mirushalayim Lekvul, and they want to leave Yerushalayim, Omer, it's Lechutzlar, so they want to leave Eretz Yisrael. And the Gemara answered, Mikule Ksuba Shanu Khan. Here we're talking about the leniencies of the Ksuba. Khan He Kilu Ksuba. This is a leniency we have at the Ksuba to go by the smaller kinds of coins of Eretz Yisrael. Vizuachas Mikule Ksuba. This is one of those leniencies. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel, Omer no sin lami mos kaputkir. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel says that if the marriage took place in kaputkir, then the money that's paid for the ksuba is from the coins of kaputkir, which are more valuable. And the Gemara explains, Kasavar, that's because Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel holds ksuba doraisa, that the ksuba is doraisa, therefore you have to go bosser the time of the shibud, you have to follow the time of the marriage. Rashi over here says, Kasavar ksuba doraisa, hilkach bosser shibud azlinon, kedin kol shtarechov. You follow all the regular halachas of Shtarei Chov, of any situation of a document to collect the debt, and you follow the time of the Shibud. And the Gemara continues, Tanu Rabbon and the Rabbis taught, Hamotzi Shtarchov al Chavero, somebody takes out a document of debt against his friend, Kosov Bo Bovel, if it says in the document Bovel, Magbeyo Mimos Bovel, so then you collect from the money of Bovel. Kosov Bo Eretz Yisrael, if it says in the document Eretz Yisrael, Magbeyo Mimos Eretz Yisrael, then you collect the debt from coins of Eretz Yisrael. Kasabo Stam, if it just says Stam, it doesn't say a location. So Hotziu Bavel, if he takes out the document in Bavel, Magveo Mimos Bavel, so then he collects from the money of Bavel. Hotziu Beretz Yisrael, Magveo Mimos Eretz Yisrael, if he takes it out in Eretz Yisrael, he collects from the money in Eretz Yisrael. Kasabo Kesef Stam, now if it just says Kesef Stam, if it just says the word Kesef, so Masha Yirtzalova Magbe, whatever the borrower wants, that's what he collects. And Rashi over here says, Kosobo Kesef Stam, if it says just Kesef and that's all it says, so Meya Kesef, it just says 100 Kesef. Velo Perishim Siloin, Im Dinar, it doesn't say what kind of silver, it doesn't say is it a Sela, is it a Dinar, Im Pudionin, is it Pudionin. So Masha Yirtzalova Magbe, you can go by the Lova of Afiluisa, and even the smallest denominations of money, that that's what the lova can pay. And finally, the Tosefta concludes, Masha'en ken b'ksuba. This halacha is not true when it comes to ksuba. And the Gemara says, Ahaya, this last line that's contrasting a regular document from ksuba, what's that going on? Amar of Mesharshir, Mesharshir says, Aresha, we're going on the Resha. At the beginning of the Tosefta, it says that if you have a situation where it was written in Bovel, so then you collect from the Mos of Bovel. And we're saying over here, by ksuba, that's not the case. By ksuba, you always take the lesser of the denominations. This Tosefta, Seft is going against the opinion of Rav Shem Amlil. The Omar Ksuba Do Raisu says Ksuba is Do Raisu. This Tosefta holds Ksuba is Dara so you always take the lesser amount. You do not go by the location where the Sheba took place. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Kosovo Kesef Stam, if the document just says Kesef without saying what kind of coin. 
So the borrower can pay even in the smallest kind of silver coin. And the Gemara says, But why not say it means a nascha, meaning like a bar of silver? Who says the document even means a silver coin at all? And the Gemara answers, Amar Rebbe Lazar, Rebbe Lazar says, You have to say we're talking about a case where it says in the document, it's written in the document that it's a matbeya, it's a coin. And the Gemara says, Why not say that he can pay him in prite, meaning in prutas, which was generally a copper coin. And the Gemara says, Amar Rebbe Rebbe says, Prite de chas below avdi and she. People don't usually make a prut out of silver, therefore we know for sure it's not referred referring to a pruta. And the Gemara continues, Tanu Rabbon and the rabbis taught, Leolam Yodur Adam Be'eretz Yisrael, a person should always live in Eretz Yisrael, Afilu Be'er Sherubo Ovde Kochav, even in a city which is majority idol worshippers, Be'al Yodur Be'chutz Laretz, and don't live in Chutz Laretz, Afilu Be'er Sherubo Yisrael, even if it's a city that's majority Jewish. Shekol Hadar Be'eretz Yisrael, because anybody who lives in Eretz Yisrael, Dome Kemish Yesh Lo Eloha, that's as if he has a God, Be'chol Hadar Be'chutz Laretz, and anybody who lives in Chutz Laretz outside of Eretz Yisrael, Dome Kemish Yesh Lo Eloha, it's like he does not have a God. Shinemar, like the Pasuk itself says, Lios Lokim, to give you the land of Canaan to be a God for you. In other words, that is the land. You live there, that is the land of God. But the Gemara continues, does anyone who doesn't live in Eretz Yisrael, it's like he doesn't have a God. What it means to say to you is as follows, anybody who lives in Chutzlaretz, Ki'ilu Oved Avodas Kochavim. It's as though he's serving, as though he's worshiping idols. And also, it says this by David Amelech. It says, "Ki Gershune Hayum is Tapech Ben Achlas Hashem Leimor Lecha Avod Elohim Acherim." I've been driven out today from being in the inheritance of God, instead serving other gods. You see, when driven out of Eretz Yisrael, it's the idea of serving Avodas Kochavim. V'chimi Amar Lo LeDavid Leich Avod Elohim Acherim. Did anyone say to David Amelech, who said to David Amelech to serve other gods? El Lomar Lach. What it means to say to you is exactly this: Kol Adar BeChutz Laretz. Anybody who lives in Chutz Laretz, Kilo Oved Avod. Avodas Kochavim. It's as if he's serving Avodah Zara. And Rashi over here explains, V'chimi Yomar lo David Cain, who said this to David? Elamim Nei, Shai Yatzarach Levroach, V'lotzeis Meretz Yisrael. Rather, it's because at that time he needed to flee and leave Eretz Yisrael. El Melech Moav Elachash, he needed to go to the king of Moab. Therefore, he was saying, it's as if I'm serving Avodah Zara. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Zeirah have a kamishtamit minei to Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Zeirah was trying to avoid Rabbi Yehuda. The Baal Lameisak Leretz Yisrael, because Rabbi Zeirah wanted to go up to Eretz Yisrael. The Yomar of Yehuda, because Rabbi Yehuda said, anyone who goes up from Bavel to Eretz Yisrael over Biasei is actually transgressing a positive commandment. Shenamar, like the Pasuk says, Rashi over here explains, the boy Rabbi Zeir Lameisak. Rabbi Zeir wanted to go up to Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Yehuda Mocha Biyadu, Rabbi Yehuda was protesting, that's why he was trying to avoid Rabbi Yehuda, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Kuf Yud Aleph, Amr Aleph.